So I just cut it off. Want to know how to do this neat thug life effect in Filmora Go? Stay tuned. Hi, this is Neil with Wondershare Filmora Go. We are here to help you create your videos anywhere on the go. Today we are going to dive into the thug life effect and I'm going to show you how it's done in Filmora Go. So let's jump in. Okay, so we're going to open the Filmora Go app and we're just going to record a quick thug life skit. I'm recording it straight to the app. Then I'm going to click on this little arrow in the bottom right and then go to edit. And there we go, we have this new video on our so timeline. So I just cut it out. Now the next thing I want to do is find the part of the video that I want to freeze. And then I'm going to click on the freeze button down the bottom and it will create a freeze frame. I can delete any video after this because I don't need it. And then we can just extend our freeze frame out for as long as we want it to be. Now we're going to create our first keyframe. What we want to do is we want my face to slowly zoom out. So we create a keyframe a little bit of the way in on the clip because we don't want it to start right at the start. We want it to just freeze and then zoom out. And then we're going to go to the end of the clip. We're going to resize my face and then that will create another keyframe. And now when you play it back, you can see my face slowly zooming in. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is apply a filter to our frozen clip. We're going to select our filter option in the bottom menu and we're just going to find a black and white one and apply that filter. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the part of the clip where the zoom begins and this is where we want to apply our first sticker. So we're going to go to the sticker option in the bottom menu and we're going to go to the third icon in from the left and we're going to search under thug because we want all the thug life images and it will bring up all the thug images go to sticker we choose the glasses one first hit the tick icon to apply it to our project and then we're just going to resize our glasses and we're going to make them a little bit too big for my face so that when i zoom in the glasses are still on my eyes okay then we're going to repeat the process we're going to search thug again this time we're going to choose the Thug Life text to go on our frozen clip. And again, we're going to resize it and put it where we want it on the clip. So I'm just going to put it above my head. So we're going to repeat the process again just by clicking the add button in the bottom menu. Search Thug again. And this time we're going to choose this nice looking chain for my neck. And we're going to resize it and put it around my neck so it looks how it should look. Okay, now we're gonna add our final sticker. I couldn't find this typed in thug, so I typed in a different search and found what I needed for the project. I go to sticker, find our special cigarette and position it on the clip where it should be. So now we're gonna move all our stickers to the start of the frozen clip. And we're just gonna do that by clicking on the sticker and then dragging it to the start of the clip. And then we're gonna extend each clip to the end of the clip by selecting the clip and then dragging the clip to the end. Okay, so now we're gonna do the keyframing on the stickers. We want the stickers gradually come in so they're all in the right place when my face starts to zoom in. We're gonna select our first sticker, create a keyframe, we're going to go to the start of the clip and we're going to move the sticker off the clip. So it starts off the clip and it will create another keyframe. Now when we play it back, you can see the sticker starts off the clip and then moves onto my eyes. We're going to do that for each sticker. For the second sticker, we're going to select a keyframe. We're going to go to the start of the clip. We're going to move the sticker off the clip and it will create another keyframe. Then when we play it back, it starts off the clip and then positions itself in the right place on the clip. We'll do this for the other two stickers. Okay, so once all the keyframe for the stickers are done, it should look something like this. Oh. Nice, so it's all coming together nicely now. All we really need now is some music. 
we're going to go to our music icon in the bottom menu click on music we're going to find a rap track to use in our thug life video now i've been through these and i found one that kind of works i'm going to select hit the beat and then i'm going to find the part of the track where i want it to start and i'm going to use the split tool to delete the first part of the music then I'm going to drag the music click to the start of the frozen clip. I'm going to drag the clip out so it fills the whole clip. Just by holding and dragging. And now we've got our Thug Life video. Here we go. So I just cut it off. Then all you're going to do is click export, go to the resolution, change it to 1080p, so it's full HD, and export it. Or you could just share it straight to social media. So there you go. That's how it's done. Really hope you found this video useful, and I'll catch you in the next video.